the pregnant mother invited to come and join us in this mental mother program and then we help her we support her we we inform her we give her more information on what is being done at the clinic because sometimes they fear what is going to be done at the clinic that is why they don't attend the antenatal clinic so that when they go there they are confident that of the information that they'll be getting and the things that are going to be done there that will be of help to them and then we continue visiting these mothers you know during the early stages we visit them once a month and then towards the, 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 the end of the pregnancy we visit them every week to inform them on danger signs that might happen to them during pregnancy so that they are wary of those and they can go to the clinic if they identify them. We teach this with the mothers on, 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 on giving of birth and what dangers they might encounter while giving birth and also what could happen to the baby after the birth of the baby so that they are on the lookout all the time. We also look at, at the mother's mental status if she is not depressed because sometimes the mother has this postnatal depression. Sometimes the mother will tell you that maybe I'll do potatoes, you change that way. She must tell you what she's giving the baby. Then we'll correct that nutrition. They don't give uh, vegetables and food, so we have to educate why they must uh, give all kinds of food mm. to the children, even to themselves, those who are, who are pregnant. They mustn't just eat only starch. Initially, we visit the child when the baby is born, and then we continue weekly until the child is a month old, and then we visit that child every two weeks. And we continue until the mother has started feeding the child. But what we advocate with the newborn is that the mother puts that child on breast milk. And, and thus we start during pregnancy. So we preach the, the, the benefits of breastfeeding. And when she has given birth, she's struggling with breastfeeding. We see to the positioning of the baby, we see to the latching of the baby on the breast, we see to the positioning of the mother. We we'll teach them to express even if mother is going to go to school or is going to work, she can still have exclusivity. We, we want mothers to bond with their kids. That is why we're promoting the exclusivity of e breastfeeding. You save as well, you save electricity, save you time. save to buy, you save time, you save money, money to buy formula. Every visit, we want the cut, that clinic cut, so that we can check she get the vitamin A, the immunization is up to date, she went to the clinic for the weight checkups. They're helping us, uh, of teaching us how to breastfeed, take your treatment, things like that. Because normally in our communities we don't we don't eat our treatments properly. I feel I feel good because they're helping us just to remind you things that they, they taught you there at the clinic. So I think they're doing a great job. We also encourage them to wash hands every time before they prepare food. After changing the nappies, they must uh, wash their hands. And they must clean their homes every day, always. And collect all the garbage. All the garbage because most special, those children who are crawling, they can Change. touch everything that is there. They must put the paraffins away where the children, they can't reach them. And also, we also encourage them not to put paraffin in the bottles of drink. We advocate the washing of the hands, thorough washing of hands, the washing of the bottles if the child is getting bottle feeds. We clean the bottles and then we sterilize them. So we've got to show them how to measure the milk. And we also show them the, the, the oral rehydration solution, how it is made.